Hello and welcome to Market Watch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a record read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Telstra has announced that it's going to continue on with its T25 strategic direction and is going to, again, cut the work staff across, particularly its enterprise agreement area. Now, enterprises are the business exposed spaces. We know very clearly that it is certainly a part of their business that isn't seen anywhere near the volume since the post COVID area, as businesses are just basically using mobile or not using it at all because they're using things online like Teams and Slack and all those. So it has that problem, we've known that. So that 2,800 job cuts has been understandable. But I think the biggest sort of takeout is the fact that they are now also moving away from the policy they bought in about two and a half years ago, which is that they were going to price their overall contracts on inflation. They've taken that away. They're now telling us that they're going to do that later in the year. Now that very clearly would suggest that they're going to go not just on what inflation is, but above and beyond. They're now going to independently price their overall contracts. Now with Telstra, it does have a market leading position and it does have a market leading size. However, you look at what's going on inside Telstra at the moment, and it's just not the growth company that it was trying to be under the very end of David Thody and all the way through Andy Penn. Vicky Brady, yes, is a savvy operator and she's been there for a long time, but strategically they are trying to shrink to greatness and that never strategically really works. There is nothing on Telstra that gets you very excited about where they're going. And although the T25 is about consolidating, it's about slimming down and dealing with the here and now on the internet world and the fact that they are continuing to be monstered by NBN because that's part of the structure that happened under that original negotiation with the government. What is Telstra? What's it standing for? And this is the thing that came out of this review is that again, yes, they're gonna be able to price the mobile contracts higher, but there's never been more competitive short and medium term players that could probably pick it up that use their network anyway. Their network is ailing and old, and they're not really investing in it. NBN, as I said, is starting to really take that broadband mobile space. So what is Telstra? It explains why it's gone from mid $4 down into the hub sort of mid to slightly higher $3 handle. And even with this strategic change that the market tended to like, and analysts also are saying this is great, there isn't a longer term growth profile here that I can really sort of hang my hat on and say, this is what management's trying to do. This is the change that's going on. And I wanna highlight Telstra as a company that is a legacy business that just seems devoid of any form of you know, major thought about how they can break it out. And that I think is a really interesting scenario that Telstra needs to really address if it's gonna get my excitement again.